Okay, on the morning of the shootout near the OK Corral, this was Hafford Saloon. It's now Arlene's Southwest Trading Gift Shop. The Earps were standing in front of this saloon that morning when a guy came up and told them that the uh, Clintons and McClarys were armed down near the OK Corral, or behind the OK Corral near Fly's Photograph Gallery. And uh, Doc Holliday met him here on the corner. That's when Virgil handed Doc the shotgun, took his cane, and then the Earps began their famous walk down 4th Street. And that was 137 years ago today. We're going to take the exact walk the Earps did. The same walk you see on the movies where they're walking four abreast down the street. Obviously for my safety, I'm not going to walk down the street. I'm going to go down the sidewalk. Actually, we will go down the side street here. Kind of give you perspective. Okay, the Earps continued their walk, headed down toward Vermont Street. On a side note, I'm going to stop here and point something out. A few hours before the shootout at the OK Corral, Virgil and Morgan disarmed Ike Clinton in an alleyway over here somewhere in this vicinity off of uh, 4th Street here. That's where they knocked him over the head and drug him off to municipal court. So that happened somewhere in that area. Now we're continuing on Vermont, or sorry, 4th Street. We're headed toward Vermont. You see Shifflin Hall over there. Okay, we're now taking the turn onto Fremont Street. And we're walking toward the rear entrance to the OK Corral. And somewhere right about here would have been Bowers Meat Market back then. Today it's the Tombstone Marshal's office, ironically. And it would have been somewhere out here that Sheriff Ben would have stopped him, probably actually a little behind me. I would guess Bowers Meat Market was over there somewhere. Because Sheriff Ben stopped him about there and told him he'd already disarmed the cowboys, there was no need to go down here. Uh, of course the herbs didn't believe him, they brushed him aside and kept walking. Right past Fly's photograph gallery right here. And ironically, a lot of people don't know this, but Doc Holliday and Big Nose Kate were staying in a room right here on this end of the building. So the, the Clintons and McClory's were basically in his backyard right outside his door here. So I kind of think they was down here looking for trouble and they found it. But anyway, this is the side of the gunfight, as the sign indicates. Of course, it's no longer a vacant lot. They've got it closed off and you got to pay admission to get in here, obviously for tourism purposes. But back in the day, the herbs would have turned right here, just on the other side of Fly's Photograph Gallery. And right here where it says side of the OK Corral gunfight was the vacant lot. This is where Virgil hollered, throw up your hands, I'm here to disarm you. And a few minutes later, 30 something seconds of violence erupted and hurled three men into eternity. Frank and William McClary and Billy Clinton. Virgil was wounded and so was Morgan. And even Doc Holliday was grazed by a bullet near his holster. Wyatt Earp was the only one that survived the gunfight unscathed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, it's the 137th anniversary of the shootout near the OK Corral. And we just walked the exact walk that the Earps walked. I hope you enjoyed it.